Hey, welcome back to Living the Next Chapter. We're continuing our series of episodes featuring authors from the book Mission Hope, a book organized by Char Murphy. Hi, Char. And from Dominic Damaski, publisher extraordinaire from Motivation Champs. Uh, Mission Hope is a book with 18 authors, and we've had a chance to sit down with some of the authors from the book, get a little background on their chapter and what they added to this book. And what I love is these people are living the next chapter. Oh, (laughs) there it is. The name of the podcast. And we get to hear their stories as part of our discussion today. And Joanne is with us today. And we're going to be listening to her story. Powerful. What she's overcome and how hope has helped her find a way. And she shares her story and a few thoughts here. It's a little snippet from the episode, and we're going to jump in right after this. Here's a little bit from Joanna. I was I was diagnosed with uh, MS, multiple sclerosis, when I was in my 30s, and I'm 71. So it was 35 years ago. And it hit me like a Mack truck. And um, <clears throat> the doctor told me I would need to put bars on my walls and learn to hang on to get around because I was just not going to be able to make it. I was in such bad shape. So I really didn't want that kind of a future for myself. I had two little girls. They were five and nine at the time. So it had me pretty scared, (laughs) to tell you the truth. You know, I didn't... I didn't know whether or not I was going to make it or not. And um, I found out through a friend through, uh, there were no treatments at that time in the 80s when I got diagnosed. So there wasn't anything available. Prednisone made me feel like my head was going to explode. And it didn't make me feel any better. And that was all they had. And um, so a friend told me about a treatment in Germany. And I went to Germany for a week and came back walking. So that was, I was, my family was really impressed. And I was, I had many, 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 many good years where I was on my feet and able to raise my kids. And I just am so grateful that that the doctor's opinion of me at the time was not gonna be what I had to live through, so. Okay, everyone, welcome to Living the Next Chapter. I have another one of Shara Murphy's amazing authors, a part of this new book called Mission Hope. And uh, I'm excited to talk to my my guest today. First time on a podcast, everyone do the clap, the applause. Yay! First time <laughs> guest on a podcast. I'm so happy mm. to have you, Hannah, on with me today. Nice to see you. Hello. Welcome to your first ever podcast. Yep. Thank you very much for having me. I'm this excited. Is, it's great. I'm so excited happy to, to have here. you here. This is really, really fun. So you are part of a project with Shar Murphy. The book mm-hmm. is Mission Hope. Can you tell me, how did you connect with Shar Murphy to be a part of this book? Well, we started talking on LinkedIn. And um, I bought her book to learn a little bit more about her and her incredible journey that she's had with uh, breast cancer. Mm-hmm. And we discovered we had a lot in common. And um, and then she asked me to, if I wouldn't be willing to uh, write something to put in this chapter after she found out more about my journey and see if it might help somebody else. So that's what I have attempted to do. And I just am so grateful to Char for making it possible to have a book that has so many different kinds of stories that will give people hope in the future. It's great. And and I've talked to many of the authors so far. Each of you are so inspiring, and the stories behind your chapters are just amazing. Really great people. So thank you for being part of the book, first of all, um, and helping Shar to pull this together. Uh, it's, It's amazing to see the stories. And I can't wait for this book to be out in public where we can all grab a copy and we can go through each chapter Um, Can you tell us a little bit of a background to you and your story that Shar connected with? Um, I was 
I was diagnosed with uh, MS, multiple sclerosis, when I was in my 30s, and I'm 71. Wow. So it was 35 years ago. And it hit me like a Mack truck. And um, <clears throat> the doctor told me I would need to put bars on my walls and learn to hang on to get around because I was just not going to be able to make it. I was in such bad shape. So I really didn't want that kind of a future for myself. I had two little girls. They were five and nine at the time. Mm. So it had me pretty scared (laughs) to tell you the truth. You know, I didn't. I didn't know whether or not I was going to make it or not. And um, I found out through a friend through, uh, there were no treatments at that time in the 80s when I got diagnosed. So there wasn't anything available. Prednisone made me feel like my head was going to explode. And it didn't make me feel any better. And that was all they had. Mm -hmm. And um, so a friend told me about a treatment in Germany. And I went to Germany for a week and came back walking. Wow. So that was, I was, my family was really impressed. And I was, I had many, 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 many good years where I was on my feet and able to raise my kids. And I just am so grateful that that the doctor's opinion of me at the time was not going to be what I had to live through. Mm -hmm. So That's amazing. So you went and got help and that must have been a very difficult decision to to go away and and seek treatment like that. Well, I, it was, but I did speak German, so that was uh, in my favor. Um, I didn't know how I was going to make it because I couldn't walk at all, mm-hmm. and so it was like wheelchair to the wheelchair to the airport, um, into the plane, and then coming out, being wheeled to the hospital, and then having help at the hospital to get get me. Um, into the hospital so it was a little bit it was it was an adventure i really didn't know what to expect and whether or not it was going to work um i was hopeful at the time and it you know it it worked for me i i got it at the right time and you know unfortunately the treatment that i was on it has not been you know it's not completely kit kept me on my feet for 35 years the last 10 years have been a little bit more difficult but i was able to raise my family so so i'm very grateful for that yeah so was that treatment then early in your diagnosis then um two years after two years okay so yeah your 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 children were young at that stage too then Yeah. yeah yeah so when Shar reached out to you to write in this book and share your story as part of this group of amazing 18 authors, did you did you feel right away that, yes, I, I really want to do this? Or were you a little bit um, wondering if your message could really help somebody? I hope my message could help somebody. Nice. I didn't know for sure. I, I don't think I'm I'm not your... From the people that I have met that have MS, and when I was first diagnosed back in 86 and I went to a group, all of those people are dead. Mm. And I'm still here. Yeah. So I've obviously done something. (laughs) Something right. Yeah. So the idea behind writing in this book then is to share your story and help others. Is that is that kind of your, your yeah, idea? Yeah, and not, and not to be a victim about it. You know, okay. my the title of it is not a victim. Mm-hmm. Is that I took a completely to those groups that they have for different illnesses or ain't it awful groups, mm-hmm. and I just was not gonna. I didn't want to be a part of that. Yeah, no, you went a totally different direction then, right? Yeah. And that's that's amazing. That's amazing to hear that in your chapter. Again, we're not giving away the chapter because people are going to go buy the book. That's the idea. <laughs> um, so please, uh, uh, but uh, and we appreciate you buying the book. But in the chapter, did you write the chapter 
for an audience, like a certain person, or did you write the chapter from your point of view to share your story? Well, I, sh I shared my story and how I got to the, um, how I reached the point of view that I had Yeah. about how I was dealing with it. And I would, I'm hoping that that might help somebody else. Because the truth is, everybody that goes through life has something thrown at them. Mm -hmm. Doesn't doesn't have to be as devastating as what I've had to go through, you know, over that many years. Yeah. But there are things that always happen to people that they don't expect. And so how they respond to that, um, hopefully, you know, from from what I've written will help them. Mm -hmm. That's and that's a beautiful thing too, because there's there's the chance to leave legacy. And when you write a book, you can put your words out there and not only share your story, but help people in the process, right? That come yeah. to the book and find inspiration from from reading your words. That that's a that's pretty powerful that your your story can help somebody. Yeah, I hope so. I hope so. You know, there are, you know, I talk to people and I'm anxious to read the other stories because I mm -hmm. know everyone that has written a chapter in the book of trauma yeah. and survived it. Right. It's amazing. And so that, um, I'm hoping that it'll be a guide for for someone not may not be necessarily what i've gone through but through whatever they've gone through yeah but they'll have some hope and some perspective and what i love too is the fact that char has pulled this book together it's a collection of stories right so i'm i'm interested to see the thread that is woven through every story as you read from cover to cover and see how all these different stories from people around the world all fit together for one message of hope. And I'm really, I'm really curious to see how this is all going to turn out. I'm excited yeah. to see it, right? Yeah, I'm excited to get a copy of it. So do you have any contact with any of the other authors to date? Not really. I, okay. I have uh, uh, communicated a little bit, some of the authors, but I have not heard their story. I really don't know what everybody has to say so it's going to be a big surprise for me i love it i love it that's nice that it's going to be a surprise for you as well yeah i think that's great so one thing i've been asking all of the, the authors that come on um in celebration of the book is if you had a message directly for char so pretend i'm not even here and it's you and char mm -hmm. what would you like to say to char from your perspective, to encourage her? Um, well, Shar, I am most grateful that you thought I was worthy of uh, being a part of the book and that my story might help somebody. And I am inspired by her. You know, what she's lived through and how she has um, managed to really thrive in spite of everything that she has lived through. Mm -hmm. And come out the other side is is a real testament to who she is. So I'm grateful. Yeah. And I sense that when I'm talking to you, Joanna, it just you're, you you just radiate gratitude and love. And I'm I'm sure your story is gonna mean so much to people. And I I want to thank you for being part of the book. For being well, vulnerable you. and for allowing yourself to share your story, right? It's amazing. Well, thank you. So the book will be coming out soon, Johanna. And what are you going to do when you receive your copy for the first time? What are you going to do? Probably read it. <laughs> <laughs> right away? Yeah, right. Find out yeah. what the other authors had to say. The thing that I'm having... Um, a, a little bit of trouble is I've never done anything like this. And, you know, how do you get the word out? Right. So that people are, are truly interested in, and can be inspired. 
so that I reach the right audience mm-hmm. of people that are open to being inspired. Yeah. Just sharing it with your community, with your family and your friends. There's built-in curiosity because they they know you, they love you, and they want to support you because of who you are. I hope so. I hope right? so. <laughs> yeah. So that's that's a, that's where I would start is just sharing it with your family. And I'm sure they're going to be buying their copies. And this is a treasure for them as well to have your words documented like this. Yeah, I think not even my family, <clears throat> at least my, besides my immediate family, they have no idea Yeah, what, what the journey has been about. Yeah. Well, I love the fact that you committed to do this and you, you wanted to help Shar and you wanted to contribute. That's, uh, that's amazing. Thank you very much. So the book will be out soon. We'll have links in the show notes for for you, your book and your your part of this book. And again, I just want on behalf of Shar and all the other 17 authors. Um, again, I can ver- I can vouch for these people. They are amazing. And I've had a chance to talk to most of them so far. And uh you're in great company. Your chapter is gonna fit in there perfectly with everyone else. So Thank Thanks. you for being a part of this. And I know this is a, a new experience for you to talk to some guy in Canada on his <laughs> podcast. Um, but I hope that uh, I can help share your message by being on this show. So thank you for agreeing to do this. I really appreciate it. Oh, Thank you for having me. It's great. I appreciate it very much. All right, everyone, please make sure you go check out the show notes for Mission Hope, Shar Murphy's book with 18 inspirational authors and 18 great stories. And Johanna is one of those chapters. You're going to have to read this for sure. Thank you for being part of our podcast, Johanna. Hey, thanks for being here for the podcast. Mission Hope, Thriving Through Seasons of the Soul, came out March 24th, 2023. 18 amazing authors, all corralled by the amazing Char Murphy. If you need some inspiration in your life, please go to the show notes, follow the links, go purchase the book, gift it to someone, buy copies and leave it in your waiting rooms of businesses or the dentist office. Just go out and buy the book and support these great authors, many first-time authors, first-time podcast guests, a lot of firsts happening here. Shar Murphy, thank you. Dominic Damaski, publisher as well from Motivation Champs. Thank you so much for bringing together these amazing people and, and to have these authors on these on a podcast here to talk about their chapters is so great. So encouraging you. Go out, check out Mission Hope, Thriving Through Seasons of the Soul. Get your copy today. Thanks for being part of the podcast. Catch you on the next one. MindShift Power Podcast, the podcast for teenagers and those who work with them. There's a huge problem in America today. There's a very large disconnect between teenagers and the adults who work with them. I'm looking to bridge that gap with real, raw, honest conversation, not held back by the chains of political correctness. You cannot solve a problem you do not understand. Want to understand teenagers today? Listen to this podcast. This podcast is for teens in the U.S. and Canada. To learn more, go to FatimaBay.com slash podcast, or just look for MindShift Power Podcast on any listening platform. I look forward to you being a faithful listener.